Yeah, so our role here is uh, we turn it armed air security. So uh, as you'll see with the typhoon behind us, uh, we're, it's a, you know, an air defense a fighter aircraft. And what we are doing along with our Qatar Miri Air Force partners, uh, flying a variety of platforms, uh, is part of the multi-layered defense operation uh, of what is ultimately a civilian sporting event. So it's great to be part of that. And if we continue to do our job well, most people won't know that we're here, certainly not overhead when, we're, when they're enjoying the games. So we started working uh, with the Qataris on this particular operation uh, over two years ago now, uh, working through the operational plan, uh, ensuring that everything was in place and, and working to the point that we've got today where we've got six nations, uh, a Qatari-led operation uh, in place. Uh, so it's been a significant amount of work uh, and this is the culmination of that work. Not, not just the World Cup, but in general, as the world you know, is evolving and uh, threats are evolving as well, you know, over the past 10 years and even before the World Cup, we've had global security partners of which we uh, acquire uh, military uh, assets, uh, equipment, and as well as training for our security personnel. So it's not only for the World Cup, it's for a long-term strategy uh, over the next you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years. It's not, it's not only because of the World Cup, but uh, in general, um, kind of evolution of the state of Qatar.